Hi everyone, I'd like to present my friend. So my name's Alma, I'm a doctor who's had to move several times during my training due to four to six monthly job rotations. Um, and I'll have to probably do this for the next decade of my life. And this is um, taxing and stressful. But I'm not alone. There are 75 in training at the moment and there aren't any adequate solutions to um, short-term contracts. And there are also offers being missed for landlords. <laughs> So, what is, it, what is it that MedRent does? It's a platform to match rotating doctors looking for a property to rent with landlords. This includes some tenancies that are compatible with doctors' rotations, for example, but not limited to, non-traditional fixed terms, such as four-month and eight-month tenancies. So our user journey is quite streamlined. You log in and we will go into a thorough verification process for you to sign up. You can have communication with potential um, tenants or landlords, and we have a review system to hold accountability so that you know that you're going to a trusted source with a mutual match. And this is a tech stack that we'd implement. We didn't have time to, to go into, the, into an MVP, but I wanted to get a little bit um, product called Digi Identity. So it's used by Government UK, and they use it to use it to provide digital um, verification for people. Um, so we'd encourage people to go through this platform. One of our core values is trustworthiness, and so we want to ensure that as a landlord, you know that you're rented to someone who's an accredited student or a medical worker, um, and you know that you're tapping into this veritable group of people. So if you don't go um, through that, we have a manual process as well, but either way, we'll be requiring a manual um, upload of your work ID and your student ID. So what are the benefits? Well, to the landlord, of course, it means that they get trustworthy tenants, the property will be looked after and they have joint and fixed term contracts. Then for the doctor, a place to stay, less moving, easy swaps, and can also build a sense of community, for example, if they know the other people in their rotation. We have a few exciting challenges that we'd love to dig into. One of these would be a housing void. So if you're a landlord and you're renting to these types of um, tenants, then you have permutations of, let's say, four, six, 12 months. So there might be a gap in your time, and that would be disadvantageous. So we want to try to optimize your matching so that we reduce any vacancies. So as a landlord, you're not suffering from any loss of income. As part of our research, we completed a competitor, competitor analysis. You can see some familiar brands on the screen. But what we found was none of them came quite close to what we created this weekend. Our aim was to create a proof of concept identify our major, our major barriers to any market research. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So I'm going to go to the judges. We can see the lessons that they learned in behind there. Any questions for our judges? Yeah, just a quick question. Do you have any sense of how many junior doctors have to give up the place because they can't find somewhere to live? We don't have the data for that. Um, uh, we couldn't find that during the weekend. However, there are a couple of fail safes, so you can go to Airbnbs or you can find hospital accommodation. One of the reasons why this was something that we looked at was I couldn't find a short term hospital accommodation because I was on a four monthly contract. So if you have permanent contracts, so you have to go through the hotel route, the Airbnb route, and you can only do that for a short period of time. Did you talk to the resident passport group at all? <laughs> Great. Uh, any other questions for me? So as resident doctors, what would be your, the most important criteria for you guys to make sure that are considered as part of the solution? question what uh, is the most important criteria I think flexible tenancies so having that four month options or like eight month options and um, because they're not the traditional route so you can get six months 12 months and especially in bigger cities sometimes you're locked in for 24 months you might not know where in the country and um, so this is to provide 
this and also the trustworthy aspect of it. So you're using your GMC ID um, number um, and matching that up with landlords. And we can make it work. It's just there isn't something there for you. And as you're rotating all the time, sometimes on spare room, you don't want to be sharing with a 23 year old when you're in your 30s, 40s, and to do night shifts and sleeping in the day. Um, and also when we were looking into this, we see that a lot of this is happening over Facebook groups, for example. I mean, that's not really the most reliable place to be doing this sort of thing. So if we could create a platform that was much more secure than that, which we think we can, and there's clearly a big demand for it, uh, we definitely think there's space for this. Also, uh, there's tenancy rights uh, that you don't get through Airbnb or Facebook. Uh, and great. Very quick. They're always quick. Um, just a quick question about how you might convince people to uh, have a centralized deposit scheme so you don't have to keep giving up deposits. Five seconds. We haven't thought about that, but we will do. <laughs> Thank you very much.